Hello, this is an installation guide for a replacement LCD screen for a Gateway LTE4010U. Um, this little netbook here uh, is actually belongs to a family friend, a little young man who dropped it and broke the screen. After verifying that there was no other damage, uh, doing that by booting it up and plugging it into an external monitor, I was able to determine that it was most likely the screen that was broken. So uh, I went out to LaptopScreens.com and found the part. The replacement screen for this particular uh, laptop is available in both a glossy and a slightly more expensive matte. Uh, the original part was a glossy, so glossy I decided to go with. Whenever you're going to replace any part in a laptop, you want to make sure you have the appropriate tools, a nice, clean, well-lit workstation. Uh, you'll want to make sure the laptop is unplugged, and you'll also want to remove the battery. Uh, for this particular model, there's a lock. Slide it over. Click it out. Sometimes it takes a little force. Set your battery aside. If you're extremely uh, diligent, you may want to use a grounding strap or something like that. I've already been grounded out here, so I'm good. These small netbooks tend to be put together very tightly and very um, complexly. Luckily for this one, the top screen is secured by two screws. They look like small black dots, but they're actually stickers, one here and one here. These can be pried away by a small pin or, if you've got them, fingernails. Once they are removed, underneath, you'll see two small Phillips head screws. Uh, if you've got a Torx set, one of the smaller sizes will be able to fit into those and screw them out. They're very small, so you may want to keep an eye on them. Put them somewhere where they're not going to roll off onto your floor. One. And two. Now the screen bezel itself is attached by plastic ribbits and clips. So there is an official tool for this sort of thing called a spudger. If you don't have one though, a stiff gift card or an ID card will work. The key here is finesse and gentle but firm pressure. You may be, once you get one corner up, you may be tempted to pull the lid away. Don't do that. You'll start breaking these connections. Instead, just slowly go around the edge, pop each one off, firm and gentle pressure. I like to go around the top piece first, and you'll see why that is in just a moment. The reason for that is the bottom piece of the bezel also forms part of the hinge mechanism for the laptop. These are very delicate, so I advise working them up as best you can, and should come right off. You don't want to break these guys. It, uh, your laptop will still function, but you'll lose a lot of cosmetic uh, value there. Set that bezel aside for now. Uh, inside, there are several more screws. Surprise, surprise. But only four of these are important. And they, tilt this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing here, are the four that connect the LCD panel to the back of the lid. The same gauge as the other screws, so you should be able to use the same tool. Slightly smaller threading on the inside, so you'll be able to tell them apart from the two exterior screws. Once they're removed, there are two ribbons here. One at the top attaches the, the, uh, cable, the shared cable to the webcam. There's one cable that connects the LCD to the, uh, the webcam and the screen. Same cable. You'll have to very delicately pry this out. If you, can, if you have a spooger, that's great. If not, it's a little bit harder task. And once that's free, you should be able to pry the screen up and out. No adhesive on mine. And there's another ribbon back here. This is the ribbon that attaches the actual LCD. Maybe a bit of tape there. And 
key here is just to go gently and slowly. Free. This is just adhesive on the back. Got our cables. This is the replacement screen I have. Putting it back in is simply reversing the process. Very carefully getting your ribbon connected. Tiny groove here. I know it's going to be very hard to see at this resolution. You just have to trust me on this. Go. Tape should keep that secure. Temporarily put your bezel back up here. Make sure it's seated properly. Now for that really delicate webcam. Then this may not go this fast for you. If you've never opened one up before, just take your time. Yeah. Okay. At this point, you'll be putting back in the four screws. Um, if you're a little bit of a daredevil like me, I'm going to go ahead and test my screen now by going and inserting the battery, keeping my hands clear of all conductive parts of the laptop. As you can see, I'm getting the Gateway logo again. This is the standard boot up, which means your screen is secured uh, and attached correctly. And at this point, all you do is reverse the installation of your screws. So two here, two here. Put the case back on, and you're good to go. It's that easy. You probably just saved yourself a couple hundred bucks on a new laptop by spending just a few, uh, just a few dozen dollars on a uh, new screen. Hope it works for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments section. Thank you.